from the moment I, because I went to Marymount, and so the second I got on the team, it was like, as a freshman, it was like, because our two best seniors who were going to Stanford were out. And so it was like, you need to step in, you need to take your role, whatever. And I was super nervous. But then I was like, oh man, like I'm good. Like yeah. I'm fine. Like I'm a freshman. What do I, what do you really <laughs> right. expect from me? Like whatever. And that actually really helped is like, yeah. but I also got stuck in that. I think a little too much of like, I would set myself low expectations so that I always like rose above them and was proud of myself. But I think that I've kind of come to the point where like now I really like having high expectations for myself. And like, if I'm disappointed with myself at the end of the day, I think that's just a lesson learned. I don't yeah. think it's like a something for me to be really sad about and like really heavy about. So I'm trying to like really raise the expectations. But I think that ever since I've been young and I've, I've been playing in beach tournaments since I was like 10 or 11. That's amazing. And it just yeah. was just for fun and then it was like really competitive yeah. and then I remember seeing Stein sitting there in an umbrella and I'm like why are you watching me <laughs> yeah. and I was like okay wait I can really do this yeah. so I've always like we've always dealt in pressure situations because yeah. it just had the sport so I feel like it's just like come with me so yeah. it's like nothing new when did you start to raise the bar of your expectations a little bit I feel like actually well, I think it was more of last year. I think I remember sitting down with like just like a bunch of different athletes at UCLA and we were talking about how like I was arguing for no, I think that you should set your expectations like a little lower because if you don't meet them as well, okay, well, you had low expectations. Right. That's what you expected of yourself. And then they kind of pushed back on me a lot and they were like, well, then how are you like, how are you supposed to like train and how are you supposed to do all these things if you don't even expect yourself to do that? Yeah. And so then I was like, it was like, whoa, you're completely right. And I started reading a lot too. Like I love reading like inspirational yeah. books and like mindset books a lot. And so a big thing too has been just like, I go to bed at night and for like 10 minutes, I'm trying to like visualize like my biggest dreams and my biggest goals. And I don't like to think of like low expectations right. for that. So like when I go to bed at night, I like to think of like winning a national championship and winning pac 12s and like just being with my team and like AVPs and stuff. So I feel like that kind of rose my expectations for myself. Yeah. It's crazy you say that because you could see it, Trav, like you could see the difference that she made from even freshman to sophomore year. Mm -hmm. Like, you could see the transition because Stein would get so frustrated with her. Super they frustrated. They would totally butt heads because mm -hmm. he saw more in her than he she saw in herself. Yeah. And he was like, because he'd call me and be like, why isn't yeah. Devin, like, what's going on with Devin? Yeah. And I'm like, bro, I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah. We all believed in her yeah. so much. But yeah. this, I mean, it's hard. when you're a freshman too, it's you're, it's scary. Like, and yeah. You, and you you don't want to have the highest expectations. It's it, failing sucks. Like a hundred percent. It's a yeah. part of sports, and that's something that you kind of have to go through. But yeah, you could literally see the difference. And that's when I said she balled out at Pac-12. That's when I really started to see stuff. I was like, you know, pushing in the weight room and like yeah. become, like taking more of a vocal role on the team and mm -hmm. like just completely balling out. And it's mm -hmm. like she was all like always so good, but then she took the next step, and then you see it this summer. And I'm playing against her, and she's almost beating me. <laughs> Probably should have beat me. <laughs> like, I mean, but, but that's, it's just something that you, it's so cool to watch and so cool to see. Now it to is. see you in a leadership role, too. Yeah. And, like, it's just, it's a special thing. And so she brings it up, and I, and I was just, like, smiling. So, like, yeah. I literally watched you go through this, and it's, yeah. it's a really cool. Yeah. It's a really cool thing. Pac-12 was a big one for me, yeah. I think, because me and Stein butt heads, like, no tomorrow my yeah. freshman year. We were just always <laughs> in a constant battle of, like, I'm, I'd be like, I'm trying really hard. He's like, you need to try harder. And it was just back and forth. And like, I never understood it. And then, like I said, quarantine hit and it all made sense to me. Yeah. But then we had like, after pac 12s like me and Stein, like he went up to me and was like, he was crying. And like, yeah. he's, he's a crier. It. He <laughs> is so, so funny. A crier. So he went up to me and just like gave a little special speech to me and just like noticing it. And like, then it just like kind of clicked for me of like, I did make a huge shift and like actually like every ball to me means something and every practice means something.